Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to night four of drawing until someone's midnight. I thought we'd try something a little bit different today, tonight, whatever. So um, I have this character bouncing around in my head and I don't know what I'm going to do with her, but I thought I'd do some character design this time and show you even what that means. I've only done a little bit of character design, so I don't know how useful this will be to anyone. Needs to look unique. Number two, silhouette. How do you spell silhouette? Uh, number three, needs to be unique. Yeah, so okay, I'm gonna make a character that is actually based off of a Sims that I had. Hey, Day Yoper, Steve keeps learning and I cannot select video quality to change it. I have no idea what to do about that. Uh, let's see. Says everything's green on my end. The uh, most I can tell you is find Twitch. Punch it. Punch it hard. Also, you probably can't hear this because you're having trouble seeing my stream. Sorry, man. Uh, I don't know what to do. Only know how to draw. Good luck. So I've already got a character design of this, sort of. I just want to kind of relapse it or redo it in such a way that it looks a little bit better and easier to draw. This character right here. I gotta do something about that nose. That nose cannot stay. Actually, everything about this picture needs to be fixed. Except for the hair. Let's see if I can keep the hair. I think I've separated the left and right half of the hair. It's got kind of a boyish look. Okay, we know we want mascara, so this girl wears makeup. Let's try just making an emoji of her and see what effect we can have of that. She's got a long, sharp nose like the girls in Utena. Request Frankenstein's monster dancing with the bride of Frankenstein. Huh. Of course, they'd be doing the mash. They'd do the monster mash.
Okay, back to Spoonie. Okay, so what do we know about Spoonie? We know she's a party girl. Very energetic. Actually, this half eyelid shit, that's not gonna work. That came off a little bit anime. Maybe it's from Drawing Region yesterday, or Reagan. Reagan, Reagan. How the heck did I do this? Also, what's this? Oh, um, hello, alien respawn. Goodbye, alien respawn. So what I basically did is I made her face and then I gave her this really weird haircut that looks something like this. And then, which by and large does not look too terrible. So it looks like she's wearing a, a mop. I feel like I'm actually getting close to something here. actually get to see a sort of picture now of the character. Okay, we're starting with a triangle head. Kind of like a effeminate boy or a boyish girl. I'm not sure. Is a girl, but I'm also kind of going for that androgyny look. Hmm. I don't know, something about it doesn't fit right with me. Though I'm starting to get sort of the feel for the character. I didn't think this would take so long. I figured I'd be done with the main part of the uh, character design by now. It's mostly in the head, too. Some of that just looks too generic. That's another thing about character design. You just have to keep rolling. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Until you're satisfied. Hey, it's Matatox. What's up? I will try different hair. Hey, Storming Galaxy. Wow, I've actually got like a billion more people than, uh, at least 300% more people than yesterday. Try different hair. Let's also do a, a side profile of the character and see if I can't design her better. Okay, one of the main things with this character is from behind, and even in some cases from in front, I want people to say, boy, girl? And so we skip ahead, skip ahead, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, God damn, I did not realize it would take this long to 
Maybe it's just because I want her to be a specific way. Let's try a different... Let's try a different head shape. No. Uh, I actually kind of want to do a Let's Play of Sims 3 with her as the lead character and just watch her tear shit up because she is pure, pure chaos. Great God Pan, I cannot use those eyes. Okay, moving on. <laughs> extreme bath, yes. That was one of the things she would do because I made her again and I made her an extreme character and she did extreme things like she did extreme get the mail and extreme order drink and extreme cook eggs. Yeah, she, she hit, fell in love with the porn star who did not want to be a porn star. And in fact was a witch. <laughs> Not her. Harry S. Long was a witch. Yeah. Good times. And that's the thing, I might not actually finish this tonight. That's that with when you're char when you're designing characters, sometimes it just goes on and on and on and you're not sure when or where you will finish. Okay, I actually think I have one of these. Yeah, yeah, Matatox, she's wearing one of those things that make you go, um, am I in a BDSM club? Because that what's happening here? Because if that is, it's cool. I just want to know. Okay, she's got pretty big ears, at about the same size as her eyes, really. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with a cat mouth. We're dealing with one of these. She's got a nose so sharp you can stab people with it. She's got half moon eyes, or whatever you call these eyes. I don't know what to call them. No. No. I thought about doing the little blush things, but no. Okay. Three earrings per. The body comes easy. We know she's wiry. Again, to kind of bring out that boyish look. I was saying earlier, baby, that uh, I kind of want her to look trans. Like, I'm picking up a lot of this, honestly, from M. Kieran. She's one of those terrible people that eats everything but doesn't gain weight. So, you know, fuck her. I feel gayer. So I must have done the right job. And the thing is, I actually don't know anything about the trans community, but I can identify individual characters. So it's like, um, I don't actually think of Spoonie as trans. I think of Spoonie as Spoonie, but if I had to identify her to a group, I would say trans, if that makes sense. Which honestly, I think that's the best way to make any character as like, you know, what, how do you identify your character? 
um, as the character? Like, I don't know how to, what you're wanting, because people in real life don't fit into categories. They just sort of are who they are. Although, boy, am I gaying this up. So, there's that too. Like, this is pretty gay as a descriptor. I should probably tone it down a little bit when, when I actually finish making the character. This hurts my eyes. Ah, okay. I, I, goddamn. What, what is wrong with everything here? This, what, what is this right here? What, what is, what happened to the bendy, what, how did this happen? Okay, this deserves special treatment. Yeah. Nothing but black left over. <laughs> so, my character design needs work. I'm not even, no, I'm not even going to put this into a, I'm just going to close it, discard changes. We're done here. She looks like one of those bendy toys. <laughs> like Stretch Armstrong, and her, her arms go on forever. Uh, that's, that's close enough. We're going to call it a night. I need to edit this video and put it on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. What have I created? Nice.